All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you the difference between bar and PSI. Right there is bar, 2.8. So 2.8 bar equals 41 PSI. Well, what the heck does that mean, right? I mean, yeah, okay, I get it, but that doesn't really tell me anything, does it? All right, so anyway, these are basically two different systems. You follow me? Bar on a pump, bar on a pump refers to the unit of pressure measurement in a metric system where one bar equals 100,000 pascals, PA, or approximately 14.5 pounds per square inch. You follow me? So if you look at it, right, I'm at 41, and if you divided that by 14.5, you would get 2.8. You follow me? So what's gonna happen, it's gonna blink and then it's gonna go to the pressure that's being exerted to the end of this pump. So anyway, that's what a bar is. And 14.5 uh, pounds per square inch in the context of a pump, the bar value indicates the pressure that the pump can generate. Also the PSI is the pressure that the pump can generate. You follow me? A one bar pump can increase water pressure or I think maybe even air pressure by one bar above atmospheric uh, pr uh, pressure. So um, that is when you see this on your pump, if you're not, you're like, well, a bar, I mean, you know, when I look at the thing on the side of my car, it doesn't tell me how many bars I'm supposed to put in my tire. It tells me the PSI. So if you look here, it says bar. If I just change it, it goes to PSI. So in America, we use that mostly. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos where I show you stuff like this. Peace out.